Well, first of all, let me just say we did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Democrats are delivering for the people. We fought for so long and we fought so hard. And many folks had given up on us. Folks in the media in particular described the odds as insurmountable. But we got a scaled down version of Build Back Better passed on Friday. And now it is law. I'm so excited about lowering the cost of prescription drugs for our seniors to the point where by the year 2025, no senior on Medicare is going to pay more than $2,000 annually for their prescription drugs. This is personal for me. It's why I dedicated uh, my speech on the House floor to my grandmother, who had to work well past the age of retirement just to pay for the high cost of prescription drugs not fully covered by Medicare. And now, needless to say, there are things, there are tweaks you would like to have seen this go differently. I mean, even as I was reading the part about insulin, that was a biggie, right? Wanted to see that same price point, even for people who have private insurers. It's my understanding that part of the pitch the Democrats are making ahead of midterms is, if you vote more of us in, then we will be able to give you more of these policies, policy wins. So, so talk to me, if this is sort of a framework, right, a, a beginning, what then would more look like? Well, let me also say that this bill also contains the largest investment in climate action yeah, that this nation has ever seen, $370 billion to reduce our carbon emissions by 40 percent by the year 2030. We are going to save the planet from climate catastrophe, and we've got to do more. We've got to do more on climate. Of course, we've got to pass the universal child care provisions that were in the version of Build Back Better that passed the House last fall that I co-authored. Uh, and we've got to make sure that we are lowering the cost of, of insulin for people, whether they are on Medicare or off of Medicare, which is something, the, the latter of which, that we still have not yet done. This is really important. Yeah. OK, so I am impressed that Democrats were able to hold together on this. I think there was still an open question. We are constantly reminded of the margins you have here. And you and I have talked many times over a series of policies about the fact that Yes, there sort of is the inherent good of the policy itself. And then there's the secondary component of this, which is just showing Americans that government can work and government can get things done. I almost wonder if that is the bigger message for Democrats going into midterms. I think it's both. Obviously, it's what is going to be felt in the pockets of the American people. Over the next several years, thousands of dollars are going to be saved by working families across this nation. But this is also something that we can take going into November especially in difficult states like Georgia, in Arizona, in Texas, and in Florida. We've got to keep the Senate majority, and we've got to grow the Senate majority. And I think you'll see us win in places like Pennsylvania and in Wisconsin. We've got incredible candidates across this country. And of course, we have to hold the House. That is critical to defending our democracy and continuing to build an economy that works for everybody, including cutting costs for working families. I'm so proud that this legislation that we passed actually will reduce inflation, according to leading economists. We are raising more money than we are spending with this legislation.